Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to record scenes and modify the playlist for several hours in Master Slave Connection. As controller, we are using Matrix 5 to record the scenes. In our task, two RS32 are connected to the same network as the Matrix 5 PC. One RA is configured as master and one as slave. The data will be recorded via ARTNET. Please note, when we want to record data via ARTNET to the RAS, the Matrix PC and the RAS must work in the same IP address range. More information about recording data at the Aura you will find in the Aura tutorial recording menu. For our tutorial, the Auras are already configured as master and slave. Furthermore, the Auras and the Matrix PC are running in the same IP address range. If you don't know how to set up a master-slave configuration of the auras, please have a look at the tutorial master-slave configuration. Some effects are already created. We only need to configure the ArtNet Universe assignment and record the scenes. Therefore, we navigate to Preferences Device Manager. Now we activate the ArtNet tab and we are searching for the auras. After the auras are found, we navigate back to the DMX Devices tab. Here we enable all outputs of the aura. This is aura number one, the master in our case. And this is Aura 2. According to our task, the second Aura should start from Universe 33. Of course, we can assign every output port manually, but we can also click the automatic numbering button. Now we type in the start universe, it's 33, and we click OK. We can close the device manager with a click at the OK button. Now everything is configured correctly and we can start to record some scenes at the auras. In this example, we want to record storage 1, place 1 to 3. Every scene should have a duration of 5 seconds. To record a scene to exactly 5 seconds, we perform a right click at the record button and we choose set duration. Here we set 5 seconds and we click OK. Now the first storage place is activated and we can record it. After 5 seconds it stops automatically. We activate the second one and we start the record again. As you can see both auras will record simultaneously. And for the third scene we also start the record after activating the storage place. More about the settings you can learn in the tutorial recording scenes via Matrix 5. We are in the scenes menu of the auras now. We can figure out three scenes are recorded at the master aura and also at the slave aura. Furthermore, the auras have created a queue list automatically according to the recorded scenes. Of course, we can modify the queue list. Please note, 
if you want to change settings of the queue list in a master-slave configuration, you have to change it for both auras. More about working with queue lists at the aura, you can learn in the tutorial Creating a queue list. For instance, queue number one should be looped three times. We modify this at the slave aura first, so we select the first queue and we change repeat three times. To apply the settings, we click set. Now we open the tab of the master aura, we change the view to the queue list view, select the first one and here we change also repeat play three times and we click set to apply the settings. Why setting up a queue list at all auras? The advantage is if the communication between the master and slave auras will be disconnected, the devices can play back the scenes individually according to the queue list. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.